Hi everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use the page title bar. The page title bar is a very versatile area that sits directly under the header. Let's have a look at this flexible option. Let's begin. The page title bar can be set up to display the page title and breadcrumbs with an image background, as can be seen here on a default install, or it can be hidden entirely. Configurable options allow you to manage the page title bar globally or per individual page or post. To start, let's have a look at a few demos to get an idea of what can be done with this versatile feature. One of my favourites is the Avada University demo. Here, the page title bar has been hidden on the home page, but on all other pages it's showing, and each page has its own background image set in the page title bar section of the Fusion page options. The Avada Spa demo also uses the page title bar on all pages except the home page, with a nice graphic background and just the page heading showing. This is simple and elegant. And finally, the Avada SEO demo has a slider on the home page, but on all other pages, the page title bar sits under a transparent header with custom background pictures for every page and custom subtitles as well. Okay, so now we have a better idea of what we can do with it, let's have a look at how to configure it. There are two main places to do this, the Fusion theme options and the Fusion page options. To access the Fusion theme options for the page title bar, you head to Avada, Theme Options, Page Title Bar. These options are global and will affect all pages. This is where you set the page title bar up as you want it to work across your entire site. Then there is the Page Title Bar tab of the Fusion page options, found at the very bottom of any page when editing. And here you can override the global options and configure the page title bar one page at a time. Let's start back with the global theme options. The first option is the main visibility option for the page title bar. You can choose to show the bar and content, show the content only, which basically just removes the background image and borders, or you can choose to hide the page title bar entirely. Below this is an option to show or hide the page title bar headings. Before going further, it will be useful to really understand the different content areas in a page title bar. There is the page heading, which is pulled automatically from the page title, but this can be overridden on any page via the Fusion page options. There is also the option of a custom subheading, and this is added on a page-by-page -page basis in the Fusion page options as well. Then there is the breadcrumbs slash search bar area to the right. We will look at this later, but this area can have breadcrumbs, a search box, or be empty. Finally, there is the background image, which can be set globally in the theme options or locally on each page. Okay, let's return to the theme options. The next section holds the styling options. The first five are styling options for the page title bar as a whole, allowing you to set 100% page width for the page title bar content, set the height of the bar both on desktop and mobile, and select the background and border colors. The remaining styling options are to do with the page title bar heading and subheading. You can specify default font sizes and colors for both, adjust the line height for the page heading, the default value is in M's, but you can use any valid CSS unit, and finally you can choose the alignment of the header and any custom subheader. If you choose left or right, the breadcrumb slash search box area will be on the opposite side, but if you choose center, it will be below the page heading. With these options, you can style the page title bar in many different ways. The last section covers the page title bar background image. Here you can configure a global background image for the page title bar, with options for both normal and retina sizes. You can turn 100% background image on or off, which enables you to have the page title bar background image display at 100% in width and height according to the window size. There is a parallax option for the background image, and lastly, an option to have a fade effect on the text as you scroll. The final section of the theme options that pertains to the page title bar is the breadcrumbs slash search box page. There are several configuration options for this area, including what content goes into it. You can turn it off entirely, or it can show breadcrumbs, which is basically a type of secondary navigation scheme that reveals the user's location in a website, or you can show a search bar. There are also a number of styling options for this area here, and they are all pretty self-explanatory. 
So once we set the global options for the page title bar, we can also adjust them locally if we wish. This is done on the Fusion page options, which is found at the bottom of every page when editing. Here, on the Page Title Bar tab, you can override everything that is set globally for the page title bar. You can hide it on that one page, or you can completely reconfigure it with a different background image or other settings. As an example, I'm going to make some changes to this single page on the University demo. As you can see now, it looks like this, and has a page title with breadcrumbs underneath and a custom background image. If I return to the Fusion page options, I'm going to change the breadcrumbs to a search bar. I'm going to add a custom subheading, which will say, read the latest news and articles. And I'm going to change the background image. Here we can paste the image path in directly, or we can browse to the file in the media library and select it here. Finally, I will add a parallax scrolling effect for the background image. OK, let's preview those changes. Yeah, that looks good. And remember, these changes are only affecting this one page. This should make it clear just how versatile the page title bar can be, particularly in conjunction with the Avada Options Network, which allows you full control over both global and local options. OK, this concludes our video on how to use the page title bar. If you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.